Now this is considered to be one of the most important Fed meetings for a long time. And I think when we're looking at the Fed meeting from a holistic perspective and looking at the balance of risks, there's a number of ways we can look at that. First of all, the market's expecting movement. Implied volatility across G10 FX pairs is at the 100th percentile. So the market's expecting great movement. And I feel that, that pays very closely into our risk management and into our position sizing. If we have a look at positioning in the market, well, the market's amassed a very large US dollar position, whether you're looking at real money accounts or leveraged accounts. The world is certainly very long of US dollars. There's also very negative sentiment towards equity markets, some of the most negative sentiment we've seen since 2009. Of course, the Fed wouldn't do much necessarily necessarily to cause a positive reaction coming through in markets. Now, in terms of what's expected, going to the market for, for this meeting, the market's thoroughly expecting a 50 basis point increase. Swaps markets are pricing 51 basis points. So when we actually get the fact, it shouldn't cause too much of a reaction. Where we could see a reaction, is what's priced out further into the curve. Now, if you go into the June meeting, the market's pricing 56 basis points of tightening. That's a 24% chance of a 75 basis point hike. So some people will see that as quite optimistic or as quite punchy. Uh, but I don't think Joe, Jerome Powell himself is necessarily going to endorse that, but he's not going to shut the door either. Go further out the curve and the market's looking how far the Federal Reserve can take the Fed funds rate above the neutral rate, the rates are neither restrictive nor stimulatory going forward, which is considered to be at 2.4%. The question is, as we go into that restrictive territory, will the Fed continue to have an appetite to, to hike in an environment of rising unemployment when the dollar is rising, real rates are continue to go, and we continue to see financial market volatility? That's what we're going to be looking for in the statement, the appetite to continue to take the Fed funds rate into restrictive territory going forward. And I think, therefore, you've got a really interesting meeting where we're looking at quantitative tightening. We're looking at a high a volatility market, a market that's very long of US dollars and rich interest rate pricing. All of those factors could create fireworks at this meeting as well. So watch it intently and trade it with Pepperstone. <laughs>